Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angley with a fishing report. It is March, oh, I don't know, 8th, 7th, 8th, something like that. And a uh, beautiful day out here at Decker's. And uh, it's been fishing very good. It's, it's springtime fishing right now. Uh, so it's been fishing very well everywhere. I've uh, been using a combination. Uh, there, we've, we've been seeing some some dry fly, uh, you know, some, some bugs flying around, some caddis, some blue-winged olives, uh, and occasionally some fish coming up on those. So that's, that's making for some nice uh, afternoon dry fly activity. You know, use, use an elk hair caddis, poudre bra foam caddis, um, comparadon for, for, for blue wings, um, parachute atoms, parachute blue wing. Uh, basically your favorite dry flies to match those hatches uh, fairly simple um, but but uh, again we're, we're seeing sporadic activity on the bugs uh, but we are seeing a fair number of the bugs flying around uh, before the hatch though uh, we're primarily nymphing of course uh, that's that 90 percent of what we do out here um, right now we've been been catching them on worms like a tan worm a tan or kind of a, a light pink or or a pink or a reddish tan worm uh, scuds orange scuds uh, small ones olive scuds uh, I'm talking like a 16 18 on those uh, caddis larva my my uh, my favorite is the caddis candy uh, but any caddis larva will work <laughs> simple just olive dubbing and a and uh, a black black head and, and uh, that's been working very well um, for uh, and then uh, Pheasant tails, juju betas, two bit hookers, uh, radiation betas, any of those little guys uh, in, a, in an 18 to 20 have been working well. Purple, olive, uh, black, uh, um, uh, mercury betas, any of those have been doing well. And then uh, I've been doing uh, caddis pupa, uh, kryptonite caddis, one's kryptonite caddis has been working very well. Uh, Bar's graphic caddis has also been catching some fish. Uh, in uh, in an olive color, uh, the the caddis. It's we're getting close to the Mother's Day caddis right now, uh, and those are going to be a, a dark olive to a black um, adult body. And uh, as as uh, pupa and larva, they have a kind of a chartreuse body. So you want to use those. Um, and then uh, and then as far as uh, for blue wings, uh, emergent blue wings RS2s always work well. Gray RS2s, uh, chocolate thunder. Um, I've been using a, just a soft tackle blue wing uh, trailed off, off the uh, end of my rig, and that's been picking up quite a few fish uh, in a size 18. The, the blue wings are fairly large right now, uh, so they're, you know, we're able to, uh, we don't have to go super tiny on those, which is nice, easier to hang on to those fish. Um, that's, that's been what it's, you know, what we've been seeing at Decker's. Uh, I haven't been I haven't been really picking up very many fish on eggs. Occasionally, I've been running an egg, and, and you know maybe a fish or two here and there, but we're really not getting a whole heck of a lot of fish on eggs. There is some sporadic spawning activity, but but uh, you know when I'm talking further downriver, I don't I don't generally fish right up in Deckers or or uh, you know we we fish from Trumbull down basically. And, uh, and and I haven't been seeing a whole lot of spawning activity here and there, but again, if you do, uh, as always, mind the red, stay off stay off their spawning beds, which is a clear, uh, clean gravel patch in the middle of in the middle of you know somewhat shallow riffles. Uh, so stay off of those. Don't fish to fish if you see them on there. Uh, generally, just leave them alone and move on. Um, out at the Dream Stream. <laughs> It's been tough out there. The water is low. Uh, they're talking to some people. It seems like maybe the flooding out in Nebraska is what's keeping the water down up there. That uh, talking to Landon Mayer about that the other day, and uh, that's that's kind of uh, making fishing tough. We haven't had a huge run of the migratory fish coming out of Eleven Mile, but there are some. Uh, we have been picking up some big fish and and having to work for them uh, you know doing a lot of walking looking in the deep holes and uh, and looking you know just looking down there and and getting some fish here and there basically the same rigs minus the caddis and scuds uh, I've been using out out at the dream stream uh, you know worms uh, but out there I use a darker brown worm 
Uh, many leeches have been working well in black or, or dark olive or even brown. Um, and then and then an assortment of, of betas imitations, pheasant tails, jujus, RS2s, so on and so forth. Um, so so it's been it's been okay out there, but uh, but it's you do you do definitely have to work for them out there. Um, but but the rewards have been have been certainly worthwhile. My pick has been has been definitely Deckers locally. Um, Fisher and Riffles, they're feeding. Uh, you know, they're out of their winter lies, so so they're really active, and we're catching a lot of fish. Uh, we've also been doing, uh, or not we, I should say, uh, Marcello. Um, our guide Marcello does float trips up on the Colorado and Roaring Fork, and, and uh, I don't think the eagle, but we do fish the eagle as well. Fishing up there is heating up quite a bit. Um, again, same, same bugs, you know, springtime is really blue wing and, and kind of early caddis activities. So same bugs are going to be working out there. Uh, but, uh, but if you haven't been out recently, uh, book us, we, we have, we have some availability in April and the fishing has been fantastic. If you can't come with me, go with any of our other fantastic guides and we'd, we'd be happy to show you around and, and get you dialed in for, for the spring and hopefully for the summer. So as always, hope that helps and uh, follow us on Instagram, 5280 Angler. Follow me on Instagram, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing, uh, 5280angler.com, and I will see you out there.